the one question that uh, uh, many many uh, parents, students and other teachers have asked is that oh, why redo the effort? There are video lectures available from many other websites, many other uh, platforms, etc. Why redo it? The answer is simple. To me, the answer is very simple. The way I teach it in India because I know what is the background these students come from, what is being covered in class 11 and 12, what is, what can be the lacuna of them, that is not possible for an American or an European or a Singaporean or a Hong, Hong Kong or somebody anybody outside this uh, Indian education system to guess or know. So their lectures may be useful or may not be useful. But I am sure, I am at least all of us, all of my fellow colleagues and teachers and me at least we are aware of the shortcomings and the, the, the and what, what is being taught in the schools, etc. So, and so for Indians, we require an Indian system by an Indian. So the NPTEL is a great effort and I completely, fully support it. Thank you. Hello to all, I am Shantanu Bhattacharya and uh, you may recall that I uh, have been teaching this course on Manufacturing Systems Technology Part 1. Uh, my experience uh, uh, that I had during the teaching of this course was phenomenal and I would like to share some of the things related to uh, at least some of the experiences that I had during the course. This course was uh, being supported by the NPTEL initiative. Um, these, uh, the recording, etc., of all this material has taken place within the IIT Kanpur Media Center. Uh, and uh, let me acknowledge and appreciate the efforts done by the staff members uh, who have really tremendously given their inputs at every stages to make this course a success. I, I, I do remember about how, uh, you know, after each lecture, there would be an editing of the video and there would be a comment uh, which would be invited by the speaker uh, and, and accordingly and commensurately the changes be made. And so the, really the, uh, the whole level of perfection that is needed from a studio to the uh, final lecture delivery which you guys have seen, that walkway or that journey has been a phenomenal journey. So I must thank NPTEL for every initiative. The other part of the course that I would like to share is the warm feedback received by the students. There have been a uh, reasonably good amount of enrollment in this particular student and students from all different disciplines including industry, uh, professionals and sometimes people who have just uh, completed their BTEC or in the process of completing their BTEC have joined this course and I have uh, had the uh, good fortune of answering to some of their very interesting and inquisitive questions. I must say that this MOOCs initiative has been phenomenal. Uh, in the approach where there can be a direct interaction between the concerned faculty member and the students. In many of the cases, uh, some of the uh, problems which were pointed out online and some of the solutions that we propose from here really led to some novel ways of thinking and you know, they call that a teacher is a great learner. Okay, so they, uh, because there is a real time association with the students and that touches there in the MOOCs, I would say this is a very good platform for not only the students but also the teachers who learn uh, as they do. Uh, the pedagogical teaching, you know, in a video lecture manner as has been continued in the MOOCs. So I really appreciate what NPTEL and MOOCs has done and uh, there is a huge, uh, you know, participation. Uh, online you are interacting with something like about 200, 2500 students all at once and it really feels good to be a part of all this initiative. Thank you again uh, for uh, this wonderful experience that I could have as a teacher teaching this particular course. Thank you. In my opinion, interacting with students is the most pleasurable experience that any teacher can derive. Whether it is face to face interaction or whether it is through the digital medium. With the advent of new technology, when you can have an access to students spread all across the world, I would say that it is a pleasure uh, talking to camera and through the camera talking to so many students. Uh, trying to uh, help them understand certain concepts. For me, this whole online course business uh, is very, very satisfying. I have offered course in the past which were you know, 40 hour uh, long courses. I have uh, offered courses which were web based and now this is the time when you know, this uh, short module has come when uh, the interaction duration is fixed for only 10 hours. Each of them has its challenge. You know, web course allows you uh, to write more, 40 hour uh, lecture you know, is 
as boring as attending a full uh, classroom lecture in the class. 10 hour course has a bigger challenge because you have to zip uh, much more information because you have limited time and a whole lot of issues has to be discussed. But believe me, it is just like uh, you know, uh, cooking food for uh, uh, oneself, cooking food for a small family and cooking food for the guests whom you uh, eagerly look for in the evening. Whether it is a web based course, a long course, a 10 hour course, this is very, very enjoyable. It is refreshing, it allows us to think jointly because uh, you send your constant feedback, you ask questions. Okay. I uh, always have at the back of my mind that there is somebody sitting somewhere in the world uh, who would be trying to understand things based on the way I explain it. So, I should try to make it as simplistic as possible. So, overall it is challenging, but I must say it is extremely satisfying, especially the feedback that you all sent on the portal and also through emails. NPTEL MOOCs has been a great opportunity for any teacher to uh, reach out um, a greater crowd beyond your regular group of students. And it was uh, very interesting to see and the way we got feedback from different uh, people who have got the benefit of this whole initiative. Uh, they belong to different domain. It's not just you know the uh, students, but uh, there have been professionals who used the course, the course material, the lectures, and they were benefited. And that was a great point of satisfaction from um, our part. And uh, another thing that is. Uh, the whole management of the whole thing that made it very convenient from the uh, perspective of the end user. The way it has designed, the way they released the lectures, the way we were asked to be prompt in action, making the thing as precise as possible, as useful as possible. And then finally, uh, getting the assignments on time and the entire thing, it, it needs a great teamwork. And whenever we see the, the, the end product, uh, it actually shows that how much labor has gone, uh, you know, like uh, for the entire execution of the whole project. So this, is, uh, this has been a wonderful experience from a teacher also. I've learned a lot as a teacher to um, deliver my lectures in a very different surrounding where you know it's not a one to one interaction uh, that happened uh, physically rather it was a virtual space that we created and uh, I didn't know whom I'm addressing to and uh, it, it just like I had to anticipate a lot and that was uh, charming and uh, it was something which was quite delightful as an experience for me. Uh, and otherwise also uh, I think uh, it's, uh, it has a large uh, uh, reach. Uh, so I wish it uh, all success and I'm very hopeful about its expansion and uh, it will get its uh, required um, and deserved success. Thank you. Hello, uh, I'm really enjoying my experience doing this MOOC course. Uh, it's quite a very different feeling than talking to students in the class here in IIT who are of course uh, pretty well chosen by a very strict exam. And the fact that I am reaching out to students who, whom I wouldn't possibly see them face to face. They are seeing me through the videos but and hearing to the lectures, but I am not going to see them. Uh, face to face. This is a very amazing sort of student teacher interaction, but but it, it is possibly a very required required thing for this country because good education has to reach to the deepest corners of this country and then only the country can rise up and the goals of this country to advance industrially, to advance in science and technology, in engineering, in medicine, in economics. That can be only done if the education, advanced level education reaches at to all the deep corners because 
you know you cannot be putting very advanced level institutes at every part excellence has to be discrete. The interesting part of this 10 hour course is that you are delivering 20 minutes lecture. Uh, I was just talking to some people in the NPTEL here in IIT Kanpur and telling that I could possibly not stand anyone who is lecturing more than 20 minutes. So, 20 minutes lecture is a good idea um, because here what I am learning is that you are going to talk to a audience whom you know has a hugely varied background, but and you do not even see them, you had questions from them on, of course on, on their forum, but you have to tell them about some topic which I am teaching for example, calculus you have to tell them the central themes of the topic with good examples in this limited time and that is also a new learning for me that actually I am being able to do the thing within 20 minutes, I am being able to trying to put the things within 20 minutes and explain it to them. That is itself a challenge and also it is fun because you are trying to see which are the things which are central to the subject which has to be told. The other things which are peripheries can be learned by the students in themselves and that is a very good part of this thing. The support here, I have already run NPTEL courses earlier, the support here at the Media Technology Center at IIT Kanpur is just excellent. You take the cameraman, they are friendly, they are ready to even adjust with your very strange timings which faculties have, <coughs> which can be in the evening hour or night or uh, the people here in the administration of this program, MOOC program, whether the program managers, the faculty coordinator, the people who are recording, their, their support has been excellent. And I wish that this program, these sort of programs would continue and many good things would reach to the deepest corners of this country and many students who are unable to access this advanced level education from the Indian Institute of Technology or Indian Institute of Science can access th these things. They can hear to hear the faculties of these institutes speak to them and that is a very good thing. Nowadays of course, everything is open on the net, but getting a certificate, the whole part of uh, purpose of this MOOC course that those who give an exam would get a certificate and that is the plus point that you essentially get a very good quality education and get a good certificate. I think anybody at any level can register in a MOOC course which is a very good thing and that, that this is essentially a part of the continuing education program. Even I, I could possibly uh, enroll in a MOOC course to learn something like your theoretical physics. Uh, right. So, this is a very good venture and I wish this venture all success and I thank the team once again for supporting me in teaching calculus to maybe I do not know thousands of kids whom I would never see. Thank you. <laughs>